we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I... <clears throat> guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm... I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving them? I told them to run, too. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some... Nonsense, spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man, like a warrior. Because that's what you are. That's all I am. A fighter. A killer. And a uh, crazy man. So be it. You lived your way. You'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me.
Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes something, buddy. Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go. Quiet. Cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. 
onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get them. And do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen raped and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity today justice catches up with him <laughs> as well you may i've been a bad man silence these charges this are... is not a court where you shall be tried this is a place where your sentence is to be carried out and your sentence Colmo Driscoll is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Colmo Driscoll. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Shout out these old Driscolls!
got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. How you get on, Arthur? Well, you know, we saw the bastard hang okay, but <coughs> no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como O'Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from Sandini a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your help again, and I promise there will be no recurrence. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter either, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh. Arthur, I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams when I read about your recent activities in the newspaper. I miss you, and I will always miss you, but I cannot live like that, and it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we're apart, I... See clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I am so sorry for everything, for everything long ago, and for starting up that business again. 